Hello, welcome to the next section, Spam Email Detection with Naive Bayes. In this section, we kick off our machine learning classification journey with spam email detection. We will be learning the fundamental and important concepts of classification and focusing on solving spam detection using a simple yet powerful algorithm, Naive Bayes. We will start by understanding what is classification and its types. We will learn about Naive Bayes classifier and the mechanics of Naive Bayes and its implementations. At the end, we will also explore about cross-validation and tuning a classifier. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with getting started with classification. In this video, we will learn about different types of classification and applications of text classification. Classification is one of the main instances of supervised learning in machine learning. Give a training set of data containing observations and their associated categorical outputs, the goal of classification is to learn a general rule that correctly maps the observations, which are also called features, to the targeted categories. In other words, a trained classification model will be generated by learning from the features and targets of training samples, as shown in this diagram. When new or unseen data comes in, it will be able to determine their desired memberships. Class information will be predicted based on the known input features using the trained classification model. Based on the possibility of class output, machine learning classification can be categorized into binary classification, multi-class classification, and multi-label classification. First, let's have a look at binary classification. So binary classification is the problem of classifying observations into one of two possible classes. Common examples include email spam filtering, customer churn predictions, marketing and advertising industry where it predicts whether an ad will be clicked or not, given users cookie information and browsing history. Similarly, binary classification has also been employed in the biomedical field, classifying patients into high or low risk groups based on MRI images. The diagram on your screen gives a pictorial view of binary classification. The next one is multi-class classification, also called multinomial classification, which allows more than two possible classes, as opposed to only two classes in binary cases. Handwritten digit recognition is a common instance, and it has a long history of research and development since the early 1900s. Multi-label classification is different from the first two types of classification, where target classes are disjointed. For example, a picture that captures a sea and sunset can simultaneously belong to both conceptual scenes, whereas it can only be an image of either a cat or dog in binary cases, or one fruit among orange, apple and banana in multi-class cases. Similarly, adventure films are often combined with other genres, such as fantasy, science fiction, horror, and drama. Another typical application is protein function classification. As a protein may have more than one function, storage, antibody, support, transport, and so on, one approach to solve an N-label classification problem is to transform it into a set of N-binary classification problems which is then handled by individual binary classifiers respectively, as shown in this diagram. For instance, classification algorithms are used to identify news sentiment, positive or negative as in binary cases, or positive, neutral or negative in multi-class classification. News sentiment analysis provides a significant signal to trading in stock markets. Perhaps a text classification application that is difficult to realize is Named Entity Recognition, or NER. Named entities are phrases of definitive categories such as names of persons, companies, geographic locations, dates and times, quantities and monetary values. To solve these problems, researchers have developed many power classification algorithms, among which Naive Bayes, or NB, and Support Vector Machine, to as SVM models, are often used for text classification. In this video, we learned about different types of classification, 